guys, I'm Kiki Pepper, and I am so full of freaking joy right now because I am so happy to introduce you guys to the love of my life, my adorable little puppy. So I'm gonna get my dog so y'all can see her. Hopefully you love her just as much as I do, but I'm gonna go get her. Let's go get Bella. So you little pretty little princess, this is my baby. Look at her outfit, y'all. Oh my God. Children, what you're working with, girl. So this is my cute, adorable dog. Her name is Bella Love, and you guys, she is so freaking terrified right now because I'm literally in front of a window, and my dog is terrified of freaking heights. I got Bella when she was only nine weeks old. Bella is now four months. She's about to be five months now. The day that I got Bella was so overwhelming for me because I literally left out the house, and I had no idea that I was going to get her. I literally saw her, and I fell in love. She was under two pounds when I first got her and I'm talking about she was so skinny that you can literally feel the ribs on the side of her body. I didn't know that she was sick at the time. I just literally thought that oh my gosh she's just a little tiny small dog. But come to find out I took her to the vet and she was sick with a really really bad virus. I'm talking about I didn't even know if my baby was going to live or not because the first few days that I brought her home she would not eat, she would not drink anything, she literally was miserable. Bella was able to regain her strength and I gave her medicine and we took her back to the veterinarian and Bella became this happy, loving dog and I am just so overjoyed that I was able to literally bring her back from being sick to being healthy. And then after I got this dog healthy, come to find out she was sick with something else. Throughout her first few weeks with me, she was really, really sick. But now Bella is a freaking monster and she likes to run around and do all types of crazy stuff. Wherever we go, people freaking love her and she loves people. If we are outside or anywhere, she will literally walk off with a stranger. I'm not even gonna lie. I be turning around and be like, Bella, you belong to me. Where are you going? She literally loves people so much. So just the other day, we took her to the veterinarian again because, Lord, she had so many shots that she had to get, so many medicines and stuff that she had to get, and I felt so bad because whenever Bella goes to the veterinarian, it hurts her. She literally just doesn't want to look at anybody sometimes, and sometimes she's just like, I hate this place. And then other times, she goes to the veterinarian, and she's like, oh my God, I met the veterinarian. <laughs> She just has this like two different personalities, kind of like her mama. <laughs> and like sometimes she really likes to be there. So here is a video of what happened when we took her to the veterinarian. Hey! Look at me! I'm giving an exam to the vet's office. Look at oh. you! She's like, this is great! <laughs> oh my gosh. She loves the attention. Crazy little <laughs> You're the best! Oh my goodness. You're So they ended up also giving Bella some shots in her shoulders or whatever and I'm just going to say it broke my heart because Bella was so sad to get these shots. Oh my goodness, are you okay? She might be a little sore on this shoulder here where she got the problem. You might also feel a little bit of the vaccine because it doesn't go into the muscle like with most uh, vaccines for humans. She's done with her shots. She's done. Yeah, she's done. Yeah, she's she's done. done. So you can cuddle. Good girl, baby. Cuddle it up. So I'm gonna try to like change her position right now. Oh my gosh, she's grabbing on to me, Bella. Stop being so scared. Look at the camera, girl. Look at the camera. It is showtime. <laughs> So anyway, y'all, she is not going to let me go right now, but right now she is about four and a half pounds. She is a Morky, which is a Yorkie and a Maltese mix. Yes, you are, girl. Sometimes Bella can be super aggressive. Like, if I'm playing with her and stuff, she will come up to me, chew on my feet, bite my hand, and think that it's a game. So a few things that I need to tell you guys about Bella. So a few things about Bella that people don't know is the fact that she loves to chew on things. Like I'm talking about if your toes are out, she will definitely come up to you like it's a freaking war and start trying to bite your toes and trying to nibble on your hands and stuff. So whenever you see Bella, hide your hands and hide your feet because this girl, she will try to chew on them. <laughs> Right now she's still, she has all of her puppy teeth and we're literally waiting for her puppy teeth to fall out because the veterinarian said that they're gonna be falling out at random times and 
you know, sometimes you can see it and sometimes they might just swallow their teeth. She is very, very spoiled. No matter where I go, people always say that Bella is spoiled. But I want to say this. Yes, Bella is very spoiled, but before I even got Bella, she was spoiled. But I don't mind spoiling my baby because I love her so much and she she's like my little baby. She's the love of my life, so I truly don't mind spoiling her. So this dog is definitely a diva. If I take her outside to go for a walk, she will literally just sit on the sidewalk and be like, uh, I'm not going anywhere. I don't want to walk on the sidewalk. This is not for me. So I had to teach her how to go potty. She's like potty trained for indoors and I teach her how to pee on a pet. So bravo. Bella is potty trained in house. <laughs> um, we like to go for runs every day. She loves running around the building. She gets super, super excited to run around the building every single night. That's like a little exercise. She's just really, really fun, a really fun, active dog. So when I first saw Bella, and she was so freaking small, I, I didn't know if she was gonna stay that size or if she was gonna get bigger. So I asked the people, I said, well, what size is Bella's parents? So here is a picture of Bella's dad, and he grew up to be only six pounds, and um, they said that her mom was only six pounds as well. And I don't know what size Bella is going to be, because right now, Bella is already four pounds. So I don't know if she's gonna be six pounds, or if she's gonna get bigger, or stay the same. We don't know. Hopefully she stays small so I can cuddle her like a little baby all her life. <laughs> Y'all, I am so totally in love with this dog because I have always wanted a dog that lets me cuddle and dress them up and stuff, and Bella freaking loves being cuddled. I'm talking about she will hold on to me all night long, and she loves to be held like a little baby. Look at this, y'all. She loves to be held like a baby. She will literally cuddle all day long and grab her little paw onto you. I'm just so freaking in love and after everything that I've been through in my life, having a dog this adorable that likes to be held really just touches my heart because whenever I'm not feeling well, I can go to Bella to make me feel better. She will always love me, play with me, and just be there for me. I am just so overjoyed and blessed to have her in my life. So another thing that drives me crazy about Bella is if you have food in front of her, she's like, uh-uh, I need a piece of that food right now. She will literally crawl on the couch, jump on top of the couch, crawl across my neck, and just sit right here while I'm eating food, which is so freaking crazy to me because I'm like, this is my food. You you have your own dog food. Eat your own dog food. But she's like, uh-uh, I want some of your food right now. And another thing that's so adorable though, when she does sit on my shoulder, sometimes she falls asleep there or she'll fall asleep on my arm. And I, oh my God, it's so cute because she snores a little bit and her little snores like, so cute and little and she's sleeping right there so it's so freaking cute so i definitely want bella to be a show dog or something because her great grandmother or grandmother or somebody in her family was this big show dog so i think it could be in her bloodline to be some type of show dog so i've been teaching her tricks like random tricks for her to do and so far she does know how to do a few tricks the girl is kind of a little bit smart <laughs> if you ask me and i am just so proud of her that she was able to learn some of the tricks that i taught her so far so she also does know a few human words she knows how to come here she knows get out because i swear to goodness i use get out so much i'd be like bella get out the kitchen bella get out the bathroom i just know how to i mean she just knows that word because i keep telling her to get out she knows how to get down she just knows a lot of human words and i believe that if you talk human why am I keep saying human words? If you talk English to your dog, your dogs will pick up words and you will be they will be able to understand you and stuff like that. So she does know a few words. A lot of people are so freaking hateful. When they come over my house, sometimes people are like, why do your dog have clothes on? Take those clothes off your dog. And first of all, Bella loves to wear clothes. When she was a baby, a pup, real, I said a baby, she's already a puppy. But when she, when I first got Bella, she was so small that she would get cold easily. So I put clothes on her to keep her warm from shivering. 
and ever since then Bella loves to wear dog clothes so I will continue to put dog clothes on Bella as long as she not she doesn't cry and as long as she loves it I'm gonna love it and I love dressing this girl up in some clothes <laughs> if you want to see more pictures of Bella follow her on Instagram at it's Bella pepper don't forget to like this video and as always I love you guys also very much thank you so much for watching